Hi, I am Kentagian, and we are back with more Hardcore Amplified Minecraft Season 2. Um, in the last episode, I made some poo armor. I had the wrong skin, which I have since rectified. And now it is time for us to go under the ground. Um, I got plenty of steaks. I slaughtered a whole field of cows. So now we just need iron, and lots of it. Um, if you recall from the last episode, this map is rich in coal. And I didn't write down the coordinates of my little home base there. Let's just see. X negative 10 was Z 148. Good enough. So we're looking for a place to delve into the earth and extract much needed supplies. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do. Um, and as I stated the last episode, it really looks like this is going to be a lot of going in between and around mountains. Because there isn't really much that will help us towards the top. And where is my shovel? Don't know why that wasn't in my hot bar to begin with. Kind of need them out here if we're going to avoid taking billions of years to do everything. Um, yes. And when we started last episode, I did notice, or I did find some iron, but it was protected by many a skelly, and I was dying, so I could not go and claim it. So maybe, if this is the way whence I came, we'll find our way back to it. And it looks like it's starting to get dark. Maybe I should have just waited a bit. Or not. Hello. This looks pretty promising. Uh, speaking of promising, I ought to make some sticks. I mean, torches. Torches. Let's do this. I don't have a lot of wood, which is troublesome, but I have enough. Yeah. Trying to uh, get a feel for this. Oh, I have some sticks. Some torches, and we're good to go on that. Get these seeds out of the way and light this place up. Here we go, and that is iron. So, we're off to a decent start. Good deal. Good freaking deal. Um, In news completely unrelated to this Let's Play, I got Far Cry 3 on Steam sale over the weekend. Oh, hello, Cave. And I have to say, right from the outset, that game is great. Far Cry 3 is an awesome game. Like, it pulled me right in. The graphics are good. The gameplay is great. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no real huge complaints about it. They're like minor, uh, minor things, but like, overall, it is solid. Really solid. Um, yeah, this place is really expansive. I need to be really careful lest I get uh, lava'd. Um, yeah, I see that the channel is still growing really fast, up to 64 subs now. Um, and it's just making me think of everything I do on this channel and how I can improve, because I know that I am not... Oh, I could plug this up real easy. I know I am not performing anywhere near what my best is, and it's not for lack of trying, it's just that I gotta work more on being more entertaining and not doing shit like that. Jesus, Kent. Um, oh yeah, that's a thing. But I really want to take it to the next level in many ways, you know, because I can do so much better, and it's not that I'm doing bad, but I can improve, and I want to improve everything about this. I just don't want it to become mundane and more of the same every time I do something, um, and that's kind of what these Minecraft Let's Plays feel like, and, you know, which... At some point, maybe I'll even start something in Minecraft that I haven't done before. I mean, because there is a lot. Um, I mean, the modded Minecraft series was some of that, but I'm talking things like something in creative mode where you guys tell me to build something despite my lack of ability, you know, just giving it a try, or tech it, or, you know, something crazy and new like that. Um, I'm, But yeah, that's something I'm just stewing over in my mind right now. Um, so we are finding the iron. Um, next up, as you might guess, is the diamond. Um, yeah, so we're... This is really good. This world seems to be very opulent. Uh, getting a lot of stuff really nice and early on. But, since it is hardcore mode, there's no guarantee that it will last. I could die this very episode. I'm trying not to. Really am. But, uh, you never know. As you can see, I took my former iron and made a pickaxe and a sword immediately. And I took all of my precious leather and made armor with it. And there's a skelly. You coming? Oh! Da -da. Let's get in the hole so that we can bash his stupid skelly skull in. I like how you look. 
Ah, Skelly 2. And I think this is the third texture pack I've tried with white spiders. What is it with people making their spiders white? I don't think I've ever seen a spider that was white IRL. Um, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to be returning to the home in this episode, which is why I didn't write those coordinates down. I'm just going to look back on it, see what I said, and go from there. Um, I do like the cobblestone texture. I like really gritty and fine textures and patterns and stuff. Um, I don't know why, but I just love looking at intricate, detailed patterns. Uh, let's see how high up we are. We are still 54 up, and I think this cave went way lower than where I am. Get low! Get low! Okay, um... There is more coal. How much coal do I have? I have 22, so it would be worth foraging for some more. Excellent. Good. Great. Yeah, I, I do like the fact that this is a very gritty texture pack. And you know, while I acknowledge that, that uh, Sfax is a really, really well done texture pack, um, very inspired and, you know, solid, very good looking, I think that's why I don't like it, because it, it turns Minecraft into something very cartoonish, and it's just not my style. I mean, it's a good style. I appreciate it for what it is, but it's just not mine. I like gritty, high detailed, very fine textures like this. I mean, when you're right next to them, yeah, they don't look so pretty, but when you're this far away, I mean, it gives it a, a decent look that I, I like, you know? I think that might just be me. I can't see sure, but uh, yeah. Um, seriously though, uh, back on the topic of me branching out, doing more things, improving in any and all ways possible, if you guys have anything that you notice that I that you don't like that I do, or things that I really could improve on, feel free to tell me about it. Ugh, 38 up still. I don't think it's going to get much better than this, but I'm going to dig, because then I have to speed things up. And, uh, but yeah, feel free, like if there's, if I have a habit that's annoying you, or, you know, there's something that I could do better, that you notice immediately, tell me about it. How much, I, I have tons of iron, I know I do, 50 freaking one, okay, it is time to set up base, and I'm gonna do it right here, I'll make a nice little cozy base. So this requires four more wood, well, at least I got more unfinished, oh, I got wood for days, I'm fine on wood, so we'll make me self a crafting table and place it here. And I'm going to make two furnaces because I didn't have the foresight to cook all of my uh, steaks. And I got steaks for days. And I want to do that. I want to cook them all. Make them all edible. Well, they're all edible already, but, you know, without... With the full benefit. And we'll put half here and half here because I still have not enough torches. Whatever. We're fine. We'll put all here and we'll put all here. And while we're waiting for that, we shall dig down. Uh the hail? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay. And here's where we'll dig down, I suppose. No better place to start than right here. For reasons that I don't think I'm going to find another place even lower. Um, I've been trying to fix Fallout 3 on my computer and failing. I can't even get the damn program to start now. That's And that's after backing everything up, backing up my save games, doing a full uninstall, and reinstalling it will not start up. And then I'll patch it, and it still won't start up. It'll, it will, it gets into the game, but the very beginning, before you even get to the title screen, crashes immediately. And I was looking at the uh, few videos I did have of my Fallout 3 Let's Play, and they got a lot of views, like over 100 each, so I really, really want to get that working, because it was popular as hell. I, it, just my luck, though. I mean, ain't nothing ever easy in this world. That has always been my motto. Nothing is ever easy. Because it isn't. It, it really isn't. Like, it's taken a while, but I'm getting subs now, and it's a great feeling. But, you know, the highest viewed videos now, I can't make them. I can't freaking make them. Nothing's ever easy. But that's okay. I like trials and tribulation, you know. To, to know that there's an obstacle before me, I have to overcome it and figure something out. Learn something new always a good thing except when you're really frustrated but whatever <laughs> speaking of that though demon souls freaking frustrating game i can't imagine playing that game without already having played dark souls because 
it would only make it so much harder. Demon Souls is no joke. For instance, I was in this level comparable to Blight Town, and there was this section. You know, you, you've already fought several minutes past several really hard sections. Like, there's this part with a ladder going down and there's all these monsters at the bottom waiting for you so you have to jump down to fight them so that they if you go on the ladder you're dead um but i get to this one part there's this big old guy with about six little guys behind him on a very narrow pathway that you can fall off of and die of course it's demon soul slash dark souls you're gonna fall off something and die and i need sticks so let's put these back and you can't um, interrupt his attack, and you you can't parry his attack. So when he attacks, there's not really much room to get out of the way. And how did I get that damn achievement? I've I've had a pickaxe already, game. So you can't get out of the way. It's hard to. I I eventually did, and you can't parry. So you got to just be really, really, really careful. And then after you finally get that moment where you kill him. You got all his little buddies ready to kill you as well. I must have died to him like eight freaking times. But I got past it and I killed a couple more bosses. Oh, this is going to be... Yep, hi guys. Hey, look. Look who's the stock texture. Uh, oh, what? Screw you. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not dying to you. I'm not. It's not happening. Any more? Any more? Can I continue? Whoa. Oh, there are more. Well, at least there was action in this episode. Wait, what am I doing? I'm being stupid. I'm making my stairway all stupid. Just like me. God. Um. So yeah, Demon Souls is tough. I really need to get on, on it. I mean, I've been posting Dark Souls episodes very regularly, as you all, I'm sure, know. But uh, I need to beat that game. I want to have it all done before Dark Souls 2 is released on PC, because I, I plan to just jump into that head first. And I want to crank out episodes on release day. Um, and, you know, just go from there. Maybe I can have several types of playthroughs. I was even thinking after I beat Far Cry 3 of maybe doing something with that game, like a specialized stealth-only playthrough without using any firearms or something. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm tossing up and down the idea. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, I, I want to do more because I don't want to... You know, I don't want this channel to just do one or two things. I don't want it to just be Dark Souls and Minecraft or, you know, there's so much more that I can do. Um, and there's even skits, and I've got bunches of ideas for that, but I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I could do whatever I really feel like. It's not a for-profit channel. I'm not working for anyone except you guys. You guys are my customers, really. And thankfully, you don't have to pay anything because if I were you, I wouldn't pay for me. <laughs> Let's start here. Finally, some diamonds. But yeah, that is. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm coughing. That has been what's on my mind. Um, lovely thing about Minecraft is that when you're playing it, you can pretty much talk about anything because Minecraft really isn't that interesting of a thing to talk about. Um, I lost count. We'll say this is ten. It just isn't. Um, unless you're like doing a project, but you're talking about ooh. Ooh. You're talking about the project, not the game. See, unless there's lava on the floor that almost kills me, what's there to talk about? I like that. I like that cobblestone. I like intricate, happy, designed things. And that is the one thing that does bug me. I mentioned it last episode, but the, the tools just don't jive with the rest of the texture pack. Alright, I'm going to kill this one, and that's going to be it for here. Because, yep, no diamonds. Oh god, I hate searching for diamonds. Worst aspect of Minecraft. It's just so boring. It's so boring. Because you go and you go and I... I don't know, I still think... Five, that they have decreased the frequency of diamonds. But I think if that were the case, uh, the Minecraft wiki would have said something. Would have known about it, figured it out. And I don't think they have. And I'll, Oh, that bugs me. I always put them on the left side. Um, random fact about me, I am a southpaw. And why I didn't make two iron pickaxes, I will never know. Something I definitely should have done, but thankfully, mercifully, there is dirt here. But no diamonds. 
Nope, nothing. Nothing of the sort. Nothing of the sort. Um, yeah. I don't know. I noticed that... Uh, never mind. Seriously, though, if you guys think of anything you want to see or anything that I can improve, I'm all ears. And speaking of ears, when this pickaxe breaks, I can go make myself a nice full set of iron armor and another two pickaxes, and we'll be set on that. And what I'll likely do is just... Well, I'm not going to continue doing this after I stop the recording, at least not right now. Uh, two more. But I will eventually, and I'll record that, give you guys the sped up happy version and show you how many diamonds I've gotten over the time I spent doing this. Exciting. <gasps> oh, is that a diamond or is that an emerald? I can't tell. That's the lovely thing about texture packs that you're not used to is you never know. I think it's an emerald. That it, If I were to guess, I'd guess an em emerald. And it's uh, one by one, so... That is an emerald, sir. Give me my emerald. Emerald. It's like that. That's like the default texture almost. Ugh. <clears throat> Damn. Well, um, let us go up, uh, craft some goods, and we'll call this an episode right here and right now because I haven't got too much more to say. I, I spent some effort just talking about all sorts of random junk. Hopefully, it was entertaining. Hopefully, these episodes are entertaining think they are that's why you're sub to me uh <laughs> at least some of you maybe uh, some of you here just make fun of me like look at that dumbass stupid guy playing his minecraft thinking he's some kind of funny when he ain't we should kick his ass um yep full set so i'm not gonna call i'm missing the boots i'm not gonna call my leather poo armor pointless because it protected me from mr skelly over there but it had a short and sweet life. I wish there were a way I could uh, convert that used leather back to regular old freaking leather. This is dirt, not wood. Because that would be nice. And I'm going to make a chest. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to cut this into pieces. And I'm going to put my old leather stuff in it. <coughs> Excuse me. And this and this. And uh, I don't think there's a practical application for emeralds outside of using them as currency, unfortunately. But whatevs. We got all that. Um, and we got more 11 more iron. And, oh, I need to make a pickaxe. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I will make several. It, it, I'm going to make several with the one ingot I have. Freaking Minecraft genius over here. All right. Um. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. And with that, I'm gonna call an episode right here and right now. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope to see you next time in the next episode. Any comments, feedback, anything of that sort, please feel free to leave it in that section. And I will see you in the next episode of Hardcore Amplified Minecraft Season Two. All right. So here we are, back in space once again, and our patient has been prepared. I think he's an astronaut or something. Someone important, but not as important as me right now. Oh, hey, there goes my watch. I did not see that happening. Come back here, Hammer. Okay, maybe we can drill his brain off. This is going to be like a bad movie, I tell you. Okay.